Alrighty, my review of the small Harbor Freight generator. Now this is the red one. Uh, they have the new green ones out. I'll probably be testing that sometime in September, reviewing that. Uh, I've had this one now for about a year. Uh, and I'll tell you this much. Uh, it's great for those small things that you really don't think of until you actually think about it until you need it around the house and uh, if if you live in a trailer and you've got that heated pipe wrap stuff uh, it runs it just fine I've got 80 feet of it on my sidewalk trying to heat my sidewalk up and it runs it just fine so for those of you doubting that uh, it don't do a dang thing uh, it does and even with this 80 feet of pipe wrap it'll run five hours on a tank just like the manual says now I have, in the year of ownership, broke off the pull start. I've had to put a different wire on it. I just took one of the old wires I had from changing plug wires out on my escort and just screwed that in there chopped it off screwed it in there so I've got a nice freaking boot and nice uh, seven and a half millimeter wire on it um, yeah and I went with a champion plug on it and I'll have the number in the description because I can't read it and I forgot the number because I'm human um, but the way I started now I went back down to Harbor Freight got their cheap drill master drill cordless drill got one of those adapter pieces to adapt any quarter inch thing into a three-eighths drive socket got one of their sockets this is a 14 millimeter deep well it can be a short one it can be the deep well I just make sure that it's the six point I don't know if you can see that make sure it's the six point because you don't want to be beating the piss out of the uh, nut any f more than you have to. Uh, put your, put the drill in the forward direction. And the way I start it is right off the flywheel bolt. Now let's see if it starts. It's been inside the house. fuel's on. Yep, let's start cranking. Uh, run a battery charger and 
just leave it? Hell, if you're worried about being in the middle of nowhere and needing a little bit of power to warm an engine, I've uh, got a Chevy Blazer behind me that it works just fine at uh, running a soft plug heater in that. The original reason why I bought this is to run lights so that when I'm working out in the field, I don't have to run power off of my big engine drive. And I can run those uh, floodlights that are on a pole with this just fine. This thing has been tortured to hell and that. This thing has not had an easy life. The one thing I will tell you to make this thing run longer, last longer, picking up the fuel mixture. I run about a 40 to 1 fuel mixture. They recommend a 50 to 1. I put a 40 to 1 in just so that I know that it's got proper lubrication. And I've had, I've got to say, I've got at least 25 hours on this, if not more. So it's all broke in. And if you can hear it, it runs. Yeah, I could probably do some tuning on the carburetor, but
all thrown it on. Oh, I might even build the bracket for it, so stay tuned for that video. I uh, really like this. If, if you're in the market for one, and you can find one, buy it. Because you ain't going to be sorry. But like I said, uh, holes start to break on them. The springs in them are horrible, unfortunately. Uh, the falls that stick open and once the engine fires up, it uh, doesn't retract the ball, so as the engine's spinning, it freaking rips on the dang full start and uh, breaks it off, breaks off all the internal parts of that full start. Stay tuned for more videos. Catch you on the next one.